Oh. Oh my god. She's the best. He's the best, honestly. He killed Ned Stark though. Jackson, Dang man. man. You killed Ned Stark. <laughs> Yeah. Hey guys, Stefano here. Welcome to TTL Films. And here we go with Game of Thrones. A lot of people have been waiting for this and they're as excited as I am. And I am very excited, but as you all know, I am a filmmaker and I try to do the best that I can in my company and now that it's summertime I mean we really have to work hard got to support my family and uh, all this amazing stuff but we are here Game of Thrones it's gonna be so much fun if you're joining me for the first time here welcome to TTL films welcome to the TTL films squad it's gonna be a lot of fun and I can't wait for you guys to see this amazing reaction that I know that we're gonna put together we're gonna have a lot of fun with so season 5 episode 3 let's do it let's get right into it here we go gotta love the intro of Game of Thrones I mean so much power. Ned Stark, where are you? And if you know me, I love Ned Stark, but he's gone. So now we go on with the storyline because it's just so good. God, I love the cinematography in the show. It's kind of creepy. For such a young girl, she's like fearless. How, how would you be stuck in there like that? Oh, wow. It's incredible. You really don't know which one is CG and which one's real. Oh man. Oh man, she's pissed. <laughs> I think we're going to be very happy, you and I. He's a good kid. He's a little on the gullible side, perhaps. But it's okay. He'll learn. So high, it touches the clouds. What is the record? Oh man, the fight is on now. Woo! Mother. Uh huh. Welcome. Oh boy. Don't you look lovely? Marriage agrees with you. Can we bring you anything to eat or drink? There's so much tension right now. Oh man. I mean, that's now a problem. He's gonna rip her apart. Reek is here. Oh my god. Damn. Poor guy. Oh my god. I mean, special effects team, you nailed it. Man, poor girl. Chaos. So many things she has to do. Now she's gonna see Reek. Oh my god. Stubby McGee. I don't like him, man. I still think he's like uh, very conniving. A stupid smile. They're best friends now. Nailed it. You want to be a night pod? Yes. Starting tomorrow, we'll train with the sword twice a day. Oh, Starting yeah. Podrick is going to learn to fight. Properly. Thank you. I can't learn to you, but I can teach you how to fight. I suppose that's more important. To rule the north. I wish I could fight beside you. To rule the north. Believe me, I do. That rings a bell. But I swore a sacred vow of the gods with. I pledged my life to the Night's Watch. You're as stubborn as your father. Hey, back off. Don't mess with Ned Stark. So intense. Whose sword is that? It belongs to Aya Stark. Aya Stark's sword, Aya Stark's clothes, Aya Stark's stolen silver. The man wonders, how is it that no one came to be surrounded by Aya Stark's things? Oh. Oh, I love this guy. He's so, so good. And like, I mean, the visual effects in the show are absolutely crazy. This girl's creepy, man. I get the whole don't ask questions deal, but 
Come on. Welcome home, Lady Stark. Oh. The North remembers. Oh, man. Most intense part of the whole show. Give me chills. I'll go, Emma. Oh. Please. I'm afraid. Oh, my God. Stannis is like, oh my god. My boy Tarion! Look at that beard, it's coming in nice. This weird, Stellantis is a large city. <laughs> Tarion, poor guy, wow. Like, look at that view. Like, experts, experts at creating such a world so real. It's amazing. Blows my mind. I mean, kudos to the creators of Game of Thrones for hiring such a skilled team. Like, that's just, look at that. It's incredible. Oh, man. To meet the Savior. You should have told me. Who doesn't want to meet the Savior? <laughs> I love this guy. He's the best. Whoa. Oh, man. Oh, man. It's like mini Robin Hood. Oh, jeez. It's my brother. <laughs> oh. Someone else. Who? Show's almost over. Show their girls inside and be happy to oblige. Oh, it's no. Why don't you tell me what you think you're doing in that room? Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm taking you to the Queen. Oh my god! Love it! Love it! Can't believe it! Holy! Alright, let me just jump out of the gates and say it's so good to be back. I mean, Game of Thrones for me, it's kind of like that show that I'm dying to watch every single day. And because I can't, it eats more at me every single day until I watch it and then I'm like, I just can't get enough of it. So let's just get right into this because it was action packed. Arya and Jack and her guard, like there you go. This is like one of those moments where I love the guy and I love her and I think it's like an amazing combination but she has to learn a new path all over again. So it's kind of like, he's basically saying to her, it's time that you realize that you're no one in order to be someone. And I absolutely love, love what he's trying to do for her. We got a new king in the house. He's now the king. He's, he's a complete baby, obviously. Uh, still a little kid, doesn't really know much about what's going on, but he's married and they had some fun. Now with that fun, he, he's getting brainwashed, obviously. You can see that he's getting brainwashed. And this leads to something so, so, so big. They're playing with the idea of Cersei going back home. Like really, this is her way to obviously push her out of the picture. And then literally right after that, you know, she catches wind of the discussion that's happening, so she goes and confronts her, and then it's like kind of snickering and making fun of and all of this downplay and lovey-dovey attitude. It's like, you can see that they're ready to fight to the death. And it's just a matter of time until someone is gonna get killed. And in the Game of Thrones world, obviously, something's gonna happen, I, I, I can just see it. But the tension is like absolutely brutal and I love it. We see our boy Reek. I mean, Reek is in the house. Um, poor guy, like it, you can see that the torment of what's going on. I mean, seeing the dead bodies hang in skin, the skin is all off. You can see all of their, their veins and, and the, it's just disgusting. The crows eating at it, I mean, that's the environment of what's happening there under the crazy leadership that we now have. So Ramsey needs to get married. I mean, that's what's happening. He needs to get married because the Lannisters won't go that far north to, to protect them and save them against all of these other armies that are going to obviously invade. So now who is coming into this grand picture? Sansa Stark. I mean, throw a left field, but you know what? It, it actually makes sense for the plot, I think, for it to progress. And I'm like, Sansa is, 
is in that situation now talking to Stubby McGee's, which I absolutely hate this guy. I still think he's conniving, a little snake. He's doing everything for himself with that damn little snicker that he had when she finally agreed to go based on the fact that she's trying to make something right for her family. And he has that little snicker and it's like, you can see he's doing it for himself, which irritates the hell out of me, but that's just who Stubbs is. Podrick and Brienne have a moment. I mean, the moment is, she likes him and finally she likes him she can see that he's devoted uh, squire and she wants to teach him how to fight like a real knight this should be absolutely incredible because i think he needs to learn how to hold a sword he doesn't know how to hold a sword whatsoever um, but he's a good guy then obviously they get into the story about how she got into the situation that she's in and she vows to kill stannis Baratheon. and this is going to be absolutely amazing to see what she can do because she did kill the hound. That means she has the skill to fight. Jon Snow turns down Stannis. That's just what happened. I'm sorry to say it, but he doesn't want to join. He, do he doesn't like what he's doing. He doesn't want to be a part of that. And obviously there is some manipulation trying to talk him into it. The question always remains is, is Jon going to join their alliance and see? Um, my honest take on it is I think he will. I think he's going to show some kind of drive to yeah you know what let's join forces and take over what's right since he is the true king um so let's see what happens with john Arya finds herself getting literally clobbered by <laughs> by another girl um and she's basically trying to tell her who are you i want to know who you are and before she can retaliate by getting the sword out uh jack and the guard comes in and says you know it's funny that someone that should be unknown or, or left as a mystery suddenly has a lot of things related to Arya Stark. How can that be if you're a nobody? So then she makes the drastic move and throws everything in the water except the sword. With this sword, you know, she couldn't do it. And I don't blame her. Like there's some serious significance to the sword. So she tucks it away and hides and obviously she's going to use it for something that's going to come around the corner. Um, I'm just curious as to when she's going to retrieve this sword. But I think it was the right decision not to throw it out because it's her sword. Sansa meets Ramsay. Um, the guy is creepy as shit. I, I, I hate his face. He's a conniving little snake and Sansa's, you know, so pure, but she's now determined, which I like more because before she was always with the victim attitude and now she's more like, I won't be victimized. And I love the passion that she has over that. Plus, she has a mission and I know I can see this mission in her eyes. But there was something so epic. I mean, this is the whole episode in my opinion. And a lady that sees her in her room, she says, welcome home, the North remembers. Oh man, I mean, if I had a violin, that is probably the best line in the whole episode. And it gives me goosebumps, so it's like, oh, so much power there. Then we got a Big Mouth. A Big Mouth has to challenge, he doesn't even deserve a name. Big Mouth is what his name is now. He had to challenge Jon Snow. He had to show his determination to call him a boy, to call him not the true leader. It's like every, everything to show that Jon Snow has no power. And thus, Jon Snow steps up and says, all right, you know what? You want to play it like this? Let's play it like this. And everyone gets up and goes outside. He, he begs. The, he was going to get his head chopped off. He begs to Jon Snow say, you know, I'm scared. I'm scared. I don't want to do this. I will do whatever you say. It's like, but Jon Snow says, you know what? F this. And he just cut his head right off. And I was like, wow, what? I can't believe Jon Snow is not the type of guy to do that. But he had to show his strength in chopping off the head. And who was watching? Stannis was watching. So now he got a real glimpse of what Jon Snow is capable of doing. It's like one of those moments where it's like the right place at the right time. Then we got this creepy old guy, the High Scepter, in a brothel acting like a complete maniac, um, doing some crazy gross things, you know, he's, he's, he's no good. And um, the s sparrows go and take over, which is like, <laughs> good, because all that was super gross. So um, they go and they try to clean up the madness of what's going on. So the High Scepter goes and tells Cersei and, and they're, they act appalled first and foremost as to why he was even in there to begin with. And then um, Cersei decides to go and see the High Sparrow, which then in return, she says to him after their discussion, I was sent to kill you or, or to torture you, but I in fact threw 
this creepy old man in the dungeon. And it's kind of like, what's going on with Cersei now? Is she becoming normal, kind? I don't know, I'm, I'm like very, very interested to see what's gonna happen. Cersei sends a message to Littlefinger and then Littlefinger gets it, but gets it from someone that is now very weary about their new alliance. And so he wants to downplay it, but no, no, I wanna see this message that you're gonna write to her. Make sure that everything is clear. So now Littlefinger, is he stuck? It, what is he going to answer to? I'm like so interested. I, I even wonder how she knew where to find him. You know, these are some of the things that I, I'm like wondering how he's going to sneak his way out of it. Terry and my boy is here. Um, Terry and I had to get out. So what does he do? The most logical thing. He has to go to a brothel. Um, he goes to a brothel and, you know, clearly they're mocking um, the mother of dragons. They, they, they're just mocking her. They're finding someone that looks very similar to her. Um, so obviously there's some lack of respect happening here and, and I get that but he wanted to attach himself to a woman and, and couldn't get to that point uh, clearly he's still thinking about everything that's happened in the past Jorah Jorah is, is there um, you know he was he was supposed to leave obviously he didn't uh, and now he's at a position and he's at a point where it's one of those intense moments where I'm, I'm wondering if he's gonna do anything and then you know obviously I'm not disappointed towards the very end where Tyrion is looking out at the water and Jorah gets him, ropes his neck, uh, gags him and says, you know, I have someone for you to meet. And it was the mother of dragons. Um, Daenerys is now going to meet Tyrion and I got goosebumps all over because it's like, finally, we're getting into something unknown territory. All right, guys, that was season five, episode three. Um, that was the start of my solar reactions to Game of Thrones and I really want to know um, if you guys enjoyed it. I hope you did uh, because I'm having an absolute blast doing this. Um, of course, if you haven't already, smash that uh, like button, leave some comments. Um, I personally can't see them because in case there's any spoilers, uh, but I have um, a few friends that are going to be watching them for me and letting me know what's happening. So um, if you're if you're a fan of the show, if you're a fan of what I'm doing here with Game of Thrones, you know, please smash that thumbs up and obviously subscribe. Uh, tell your friends, uh, let's get this community huge. And I really hope that uh, you're gonna join me on this journey as I know that it, it's, it's difficult to do it as a solo, uh, for me anyways, because I came from a duo thing. So now doing it solo, it's, it's a bit harder for me, but um, I'm having an absolute blast doing it. So if you enjoyed it, um, honestly love the support. So until then guys, I will see you next time.